Welcome. This is an overview of the 2017-2018 Fulbright Distinguished Awards in Teaching Program online application process for U.S. applicants. If you are an international applicant, please contact the partner organization in your home country for application information. You can find their contact information on the Fulbright Distinguished Awards in Teaching Program website at fulbrightteacherexchange.org. The Fulbright Distinguished Awards in Teaching Program is sponsored by the U.S. Department of State, Bureau of Educational and Cultural Affairs. It is administered by the Institute of International Education. Before completing the application, all potential applicants should first review the program eligibility requirements found on the program website. U.S. applicants must meet all eligibility requirements to be considered for this Fulbright program. If you have applied in previous years, we encourage you to reapply. All reapplicants must fill out the online application, being sure to update any information that has changed, as well as complete any new questions on the application. Reapplicants must also submit new reference and leave authorization forms. Here is a list of the participating countries for the 2017-2018 school year. Visit our website to view language requirements, eligible program dates, program length, and more details about the participating countries. This is a basic overview of the selection and notification timeline found on our website. The application deadline for the 2017-2018 program for U.S. teachers is December 1, 2016. Here are a few tips for you to keep in mind before you start. Allow ample time in advance of the application deadline. Before starting the application, review the online instructions thoroughly, as well as print a blank sample application from our website. Teachers can access the application from the program website. This screen is the homepage of the online application. Applicants creating an application for the first time should click Create new application. Applicants who applied using the online application previously should click Reapply to retrieve your information and register for this year's application. Once registered, returning users should enter their email address and password into the fields on the online application homepage to log back into the system. When creating a new application, applicants are brought to the registration page. Any fields throughout the application with a red asterisk are required for submission. After registration, the applicant will be taken to the first part of the application. There are 16 sections total. Once you begin the online application, click the Save button often. There is a timer in the top left corner of the application and applicants will be logged out after 20 minutes of inactivity. We will now highlight several sections of the application. In the educational background section, applicants should list all earned degrees and or certificates starting with the most recent earned. Once you click save, a grid will appear with your inputted information. A similar grid is displayed in other parts of the application, including previous employment, international experience, professional development activities, teaching schedule, family travel, references, and file upload. Applicants should upload transcripts for all degrees earned in the file upload section of the application. This is the language proficiency section. Please list languages that are applicable to the program. Teachers should review the requirements for each country should you have questions about any recommended or required languages for a particular country. You should be proficient enough in the required language to read academic text and carry on conversations about academic level topics. Narrative questions are limit limited to a set character count, which includes punctuation and spaces. Applicants can find the character count at the bottom of each text box. We recommend that teachers prepare their answers in a word processing system such as Microsoft Word, then copy and paste the text into the text box on the online application. Any text that goes beyond the allowed character count will be cut off, 
so be sure you remain within the character count limit. The leave authorization section generates a form that must be printed from within the application and signed by an official at the district level who has the ability to approve participation in the program, grant leave of absence, and approve the appropriate salary arrangements for the school or school system in which the applicant is employed. The signed form must be scanned and emailed to IIE at FulbrightDAT at IIE.org. All applicants must submit three reference forms before the December 1st application deadline. These three forms are in addition to the leave authorization form. One reference must come from your immediate supervisor, usually the principal or department chair, while the other two may come from anyone in your professional community. All three forms must be submitted through the online system. No supplemental letters of reference will be accepted. In addition, all applicants must upload and submit copies of their resume or CV, university transcripts, copies of previous significant teaching or leadership awards, and a clear scan of the photo page of their passport. If you do not have a passport, write no passport at this time on the basic information page and do not upload a passport. The final step before submission is to check and preview the application. First click check application, which will populate a grid with errors you must fix before being allowed to submit. Then preview your application and either print or save a copy of the PDF application for your files. You should not send a printed copy of your application to IIE. Once applicants have checked and previewed their application, click Submit Online Application. Teachers will not be allowed to make changes once they submit the application. Throughout the application process, including after submission, teachers should use the References tab to check on the progress of completed references. In this section, you are able to resend an email to your references to remind them to complete the reference. It is common for these automated emails to end up in junk mail folders. Please tell your references that the email will come from FulbrightDAT at IIE.org. It is your responsibility to ensure that each of your references submit the online reference form by the application deadline of December 1, 2016. In this section, teachers can also see when IIE has received the leave authorization form. Please contact IIE Fulbright Program Staff at FulbrightDAT at IIE.org with any questions. We wish all potential applicants the best of luck. And remember, the application deadline is December 1st, 2016.